Hi, this is Kesha with Avaya and this video covers setting up Avaya 1x attendant T-Trace and a demo showing T-Trace analysis. Once Avaya T-Trace has been installed, then there are two components of the T-Trace that will start showing up in the All Programs menu. One of them being T-Trace Config, the second one being T-Trace Console. T-Trace Config is just to set up the way we want to use the T-Trace. So let's go through it. Password to T-Trace is Recall with capital R. The only two fields that we are concerned about is the directory for log files, which if not set is the default location inside the program files. But if you want to change it, you can give a different location. The second setting that you want to change is remember manual category switches. This is just to ensure that T-Trace remembers the log categories that we set up here. Once done, we can just save this file and exit. Now we go and look in the second application, which is T-Trace console. This is the software which will help us in looking in the logs. The password for this is same, recall with capital R. Now, under T-Trace, we see two options. One is SCTAP and second one is OSPC. It also shows up T-Trace server, which we are not interested in looking. SCTAP shows the connection between the CM and the 1X attendant and the relevant messages that are shared between these two. Whereas the OSPC shows the application logs. Under SCTAP, there are various subcategories which collect various different messages that are exchanged between CM and 1X attendant. For example, SC link event is the category which checks the link between CM and 1X attendant and records all the messages that report the status of this link. A number of issues are reported wherein the link between 1X attendant and CM is dropped and owing to which various different type of issues are observed on the 1X attendant. For example, failure to answer the call, failure to make the call, etc. Let's have a look at some messages that will help us in noticing. Here is a sample trace that shows the connection between CM and 1X attendant goes down and comes back up within a short time. Notice the message TC IMPL check that says state change disturbed road barrier. Road barrier is the state in which 1X attendant is logged in. This is the first message that shows that the 1X attendant to CM link is having some problem. After some time, the SC link event message reports that the link is gone. This message confirms the CM link has dropped. Immediately after this, the TCIM peel check reports that the state change of 1x attendant to offline. After some time, SC link event reports that the same link has come up and the normal CM login process is followed. Thus, this helps us in finding out when the same link goes up and down. If we observe some weird behavior from 1x attendant, for example, non-responsiveness, unable to answer a call, or any other feature invocation failure, by looking at these messages, we can isolate whether or not the reported issue is caused because of the drop of CM link. Thank you for your time today. We hope that this information was useful to you. We welcome your questions, comments, and feedback on mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.